This is Helena Hans Verstagen. Hans Verstagen? Anyway. A German-American woman who was born in New York City. She grew up in a wealthy family and would become involved with the NSDAP, or as we now call them, the Nazi. And before even Hitler became the Führer of Germany, she would have saved his life on two separate occasions. To understand this turn of events, we need to go back in time when the Nazi party was just one of those many fringe political parties in Germany's new democratic period called the Weimar Republic of the 1920s and the 30s. After the Great War in the Peace Treaty of Versailles, Germany was treated harshly by the other European countries. At this time a conspiracy theory was spreading like a wildfire between the German soldiers, the so-called stab in the back myth, which singled out the Jews as the main cause for them to lose the war. Which is obviously not true, but the National Socialist Germany Worker Party took this conspiracy to the heart and used it to their own advantage. And when the hyperinflation of 1922 occurred due to the government stopped paying the war reparations, the party noticed a weakness in the democracy that would serve their purpose, especially after witnessing how their new speaker and leader Adolf Hitler captivated thousands of Munich people in the beer halls. At this time, Helena and her husband Ernst decided to move back to Germany as they were intrigued by the country's development and change and thought they could earn a lot of money through this. Ernst played a significant role in the early years of the Nazi party and was a personal friend of Hitler. He served as Hitler's foreign press chief and was responsible for promoting the Nazi party's image abroad. Helena was also involved in the Nazi party and worked as a translator and a secretary in those early years. Hitler had also fallen in love with her, and Helena was aware of it, but she didn't return those feelings to him. But the Nazi party was not the huge movement in 1923, as they will become 10 years later. But Hitler thought it was time to take action. So, on the 8th of November 1923, Hitler tried to stage a coup d'etat in the town of Munich, the so-called Beer Hall Putsch. The goal was to seize the Bavarian government and march to Berlin and overthrow the Weimar Republic. This was in the spirit of the fascist movement in Italy and Benito Mussolini's march to Rome, which succeeded and overthrew the government and made Mussolini the strongman of Europe. Hitler surrounded the beer hall that night and was accompanied by Hermann Göring, Rudolf Hess and also Ernst. Hitler shouted the national revolution has broken out, and later that morning they marched to the streets believing they had the people on their side, but nothing went as planned. When the Nazi came to Odeonplatz, they met resistant forces and shots were fired. Hitler was hurt but survived and escaped via car and was heading to Austrian border knowing that he just committed high treason. But the car broke down. He fled to Offing, a town an hour away from Munich, where Helena and Ernst lived. Ernst got out of Germany after the putsch, but Helena was still in Offing, in their house with the two children. When an injured Hitler locked himself in the house for two days as he contemplated what to do next, hurt with high fever and manic behavior, he was desperate. And when the police finally caught up with him, Hitler took his revolver and aimed at himself. Helene heard Hitler shouting, This is the end. I will never let this swine take me. I will shoot myself first. She heard this and hurried up to the attic and wrestled the gun out of Hitler's grasp and stopped him from attempting suicide. Before the trial, which, he, which Hitler thought would lead to the death penalty or life in prison, he starved himself to make a point. The party leaders and Ernst were worried that Hitler would commit suicide and without him there will be no Nazi party. Ernst knew the effect Helena had on Hitler so he urged her to visit him and talk him out of this. And so she did and he started to eat again. 
Hitler later credited her solely for saving his life in those early years. And without her, maybe he wouldn't have made it. But even though she was captivated by Hitler, in 1938 she had enough of him and saw the true evil he was, and she returned to the United States. Helena's involvement with the Nazi party and her connection to Hitler had made her a controversial figure in history, and some view her as a victim of the Nazi regime, while others see her as a willing participant in the crimes of the Nazi party. Regardless of how she is perceived, Helena played a significant role in the history of the Nazi party and the events of World War II.